Hello, this is Kevin Amop from the X-Ray Applications Department and uh, what I'll be demonstrating for you today is actually part two of the installation and setup of an i1 Display LT, i1 Display 2, or i1 Pro bundle such as the i1 Basic uh, and i1 Extreme. Uh, again, when we left off after part one, the software was installed and uh, the computer was rebooting. So after the computer reboots, um, then, it, then it's time to plug in your device to the USB port. Uh, on a laptop, you'd want to plug directly into the laptop, uh, either, um, either into the laptop, not into a docking station that the laptop uh, goes into, uh, or an unpowered hub. It is generally acceptable to plug into a powered USB hub. However, that, that USB hub has to be powered. Uh, the devi our devices, both the i1 Display and the i1 Pro devices, require power uh, from the USB port. Plugging either of the devices, the i1 Pro or i1 Display, into a, um, uh, into a monitor USB port or into a keyboard USB port will many times be problematic as well as a front USB port on a tower. Many times they don't deliver, those ports don't deliver the power consistently and reliably to run our instruments. So always on a tower it's preferable to plug into a rear port on a laptop plug directly into the laptop port and if you run into any issues with either of those try a powered USB hub before calling into support. I am plugging in an i1 Display 2 for this demonstration and once again I've already successfully installed my software and on XP you'll see this found new hardware wizard and it asks if you want to connect to Windows. Uh, I No, not this time. Windows does not uh, have our driver on their site. And at, it, even though this says to uh, insert the CD, there's no need to do so. Uh, the, the driver installs with the software installation. So I'm going to keep it at install the software automatic automatically and select Next. On XP, uh, it's going to set a restore point uh, for System Restore whenever you load a driver. And that's what it's doing now. And you'll see that it says that the iWin display is installed and ready to use. So when I select Finish, it's ready to go. I must add that on Windows 7, it will automatically load the driver. There won't be a wizard. Uh, Vista, if you see a wizard like this, again, make sure that you install automatically and uh, you should have no problems. At this point, I'm, I'm going to open up the uh, software, the application. Remember, the i1 products use i1 Match 3 as their software to generate profiles. Again, this window, this X-ray device services, it says that i1 match is requesting ownership of the i1 device. Select yes. And this will take you to the home screen of i1 match software. Uh, and this is where we get started. We're selecting the uh, monitor. And again, I have an i1 display. Uh, and so the only thing that you can select is the monitor. An i1 display uh, LT or an i1 display 2 are unable to build a projector, scanner, camera, or printer profile. That's why they're grayed out. So once again, this will be the only thing selectable. I have an i1 display 2 and because of that, I have both easy and advanced methods uh, to select from. I can profile in either mode. In i1 Display LT has only one workflow. 
and it doesn't have easy and advanced down here. So an I1 Display LT will not have this these options at the bottom. Uh, keep in mind if you have any any questions about uh, your software or your current workflow, you have a help pane on the right side to page through and hopefully provide you the answers to any questions that you may have. An i1 Pro product, by the way, if you select, a, if you have an i1 Basic, an i1 Basic is only going to have the monitor uh, selectable as well. The rest of the options are not licensed to an i1 Basic. An i1 Extreme product will have all of these selectable. So you're able to profile everything, a projector, monitor, scanner, digital camera, and a printer with an i1 Extreme. Uh, an i1 Basic that has only the monitor is able to be updated and you can upgrade it, purchase upgrades to do each of these functions if you would like. Uh, to, to make arrangements for that, you'd want to call X-Rite at 888-826-3044 and follow the prompts to place an order. Again, uh, this is the driver install in the, in the basic setup and install for your iWin Display LT, iWin Display 2, or iWin Pro bundle such as the iWin Basic in iWin Extreme. I hope this has been helpful.